Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. A very good morning to you all. Here we go then. We'll start off with some 50p coin hunts on the channel. We've also got some 10p coins to look through in this video as well. Fingers crossed we can find maybe even the Q Gardens and we could even find some of those alphabet coins as well. As always, if you have found any commemoratives, please do let us know. Please share with us in the comments section. And together, let's keep that dream alive. But there's still some commemoratives, maybe even some rare ones again, out there in the wild. Again, at the end of the video, I'll check through all of the Britannias, all of the shields again. Sometimes I even miss commemorative coins. If that's the case, you'll see them at the start of the next coin hunt video. What a beauty of a day it is today. I've got good, good faith for this week. I feel like we're going to find some beauties on the channel. Plenty of nice coins being found from across the community as we pick up a Battle of Hastings 50p. The first coin today. Squirreling coins finds an Isle of Man Christmas coin. Definitely Christmas come early. Andy actually managed to find, let's see if it's just somewhere here. He found the Commonwealth Games £2 coin, the England one. Again, four different Commonwealth Games £2 coins released back in 2002. Dare I say it, 22 years ago. We pick up the tail of Peter Rabbit. We'll get that up out there. We'll stop thinking about how long they've been in circulation and how time really does go quickly. Four different commemoratives in that coin set. Northern Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. And again, the Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland, the rarest £2 in UK circulation. You are looking, I believe, around the £40 mark for a good quality coin at the moment. Could have gone up a few pounds, could have gone down. Not exactly on top of that one at the moment, but I'd definitely say 35 to £40 not bad if you are lucky enough to find it. Only two commemorative coins with the 50Ps. We will have a quick break from those. Have a little look through some 10Ps and then get back to the 50s. Again, as promised, the coin hunts are all going to be a bit longer now. They're not just going to be £50 or just the lucky bags. Again, the longer they are, hopefully the more enjoyable the probably more I'm going to waffle on in the videos, but we can talk about different topics as well. And also, more coins we look through, the more finds, fingers crossed, the more finds we will have as well. Come on, coin gods, must be out there somewhere. Again, we are looking for those alphabet coins. If you are new to coin collecting, 2018, 2019, the alphabet coins were released. Now, whether it is the 2018 or 19s, both of the coins, the letters are exactly the same. For example, letter A on the 2018 is the same design as the letter on the 2019 version. Platinum Jubilee up next. Another nice quality coin there. Again, I'm not really 100% sure where the Royal Mint is with really getting coins from each year out into circulation. Sometimes you can look through your, through your change that you get from the shops and there could be say a 2p there that's 10 years old, perfect uncirculated, really is crazy. Some people saying they've been finding some really nice near uncirculated coins in the change recently, five, six years old. So again, does it look like we're gonna see any of those new coin designs entered into UK circulation this year? Unfortunately, I would probably think not as we pick up the Benjamin Britain, but I'm not one to give up hope. So I do hope that we do see, just like we did last year, the Salmon 50p coin being entered into UK circulation. I really do hope that we do see some of those new coins entered into UK circulation this year. If they take too long, sometimes with things, the hype is all over, people really aren't that bothered anymore they've been waiting for so long that it isn't really that enjoyable when you actually do find them so royal mint come on let's have at least one maybe even two of the new coin designs entered into the wild come on we need them let's make it happen again royal mint if you're listening if you want a six foot tall 
handsome man to design some commemorative coins for you. I think I do know a guy. Here we go then. One more bag after this one. Let's hope that we get lucky with the final bag. Four finds so far. The Benjamin Britten, the Tale of Peter Rabbit, the Platinum Jubilee, and we have also got the Battle of Hastings. Nice little mix there. Unfortunately, no alphabet coins, but we have picked up. It might not be the best quality coin ever. This one has had a hard life, that is for sure. Crazy how much sometimes these coins have been passed around, especially when they're rare ones. But there we have it. Six years young, we pick up the joint rarest Beatrix Potter coin. Yes, these longer coin hunts are going to be worth it by the looks of it. The Flopsy Bunny makes its way onto the stage already. Always nice to see. Even for the quality of that one, I'm looking at £4.50 to £5 for it. That is for sure. Selling, I believe, around £7. Perfect. Uncirculated. Definitely isn't that, but it definitely is not an easy one to find. That's for sure. Five coins then. High fives all around. The Platinum Jubilee. The Benjamin Britten. The, the Pale. The Tale of Peter Rabbit. The Battle of Hastings, poor King Harold there with the arrow through the eye. And the joint rarest in the Beatrix Potter coin set, we pick up the Flopsy Bunny. And again, one day, maybe next year, the Flopsy Bunny and the 2018 Peter Rabbit, they may well just pass the Jemima for overall value. Five, coin, five coins, coins? Well, here we go. Five coins then. Get your star fine below. For me, it has to be the Flopsy Bunny. Have a great week, guys. Plenty more coin hunts to come tonight. And again, we'll get on to some 250s towards the weekend. Have a blessed one. Stay safe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.